Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I just had lunch, so don't mind my Powerade mustache. Sorry, it's there. Uh, I had a wrap. In a, it was like a tortilla, I think, with turkey, lettuce, tomato, and bacon. So, pretty good. And then I had Powerade, a uh, fruit punch, and it was red, so, sorry. Um, today, um... We're going to be doing Die Up and Won't Be Kidding, Havilland Cartoons, the first in the series. We're going to be um, doing part two of seven. Uh, in part one of seven, we read pages one to 31, and now we're doing 32 um, to 63. So, um, yeah. If you guys go to enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And, yeah, hope you go to enjoy the video. Part two of seven, reading Die Up and Won't Be Kidding. Alright, subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications. Here we go. <clears throat> that really bugged Roderick, so he drove off to the store and came back 15 minutes later with some headphones. And that pretty much took care of the problem. Thursday. Yesterday, Roderick got a new heavy metal CD, and it had one of those parental, parental warning stickers on it. I've never gotten to listen to one of those parental warning CDs, because Mom and Dad never let me buy them at the mall. So I realized the only way I was going to get a chance to listen to Roderick's CD was if I snuck it out of the house. This morning, after Roderick left, I called up Rowley and told him to bring his CD player to school. Then I went down to Roderick's room and took the CD off his rack. You're, you're not allowed to bring personal music players to school, so we had to wait to... You're not allowed to bring personal music players to school, so we had to wait to use it until after lunch when the teachers let us outside. As soon as we got the chance, me and Rowley snuck around the back of the school and loaded up Roderick's CD. But Rowley forgot to put batteries in his CD player, so it, was pretty mu so it was pretty much worthless. Then I came up with this great idea for a game. The object was to put the headphone. The object was to put the headphones on your head and then try to shake them off without using your hands. The winner, the winner was whoever could shake the headphones off in the shortest amount of time. I had I had the record with seven and a half seconds, but I think I might have shook some of my fillings loose with that one. Right in the middle of our game, Mrs. Craig came around the corner and caught us red-handed. She took the music player away from me and started chewing us out. But I think she had the wrong idea about what we were doing back there. She started telling us how rock and roll was evil and how it was going to ruin our brains. I was going to tell her that we that. I was going to tell her that there weren't even any batteries in CD player, but I could tell she didn't want to be interrupted. So I just waited until she was done, and then I said, Yes, ma'am. But right when Mrs. Craig was about to let us go, Riley started blubbering about how he doesn't want rock and roll to ruin his brains. Honestly, sometimes I don't know about that boy. Friday. Well, now I've gone and done it. Last night, after everyone was in bed, I snuck downstairs to listen to Roderick's CD on the stereo in the family room. I put Roderick's new headphones on and cranked up the volume really high. Then I hit play. Finally, first, oh sorry, first, let me just say I can definitely understand why they put that parental warning sticker on the CD. But I only got to hear about 30 seconds of the first song before I got interrupted. It turns out I didn't have the headphones plugged into the stereo, so the music was actually coming through the speakers, not the headphones. Dad marched me up to my room and shut the door behind him, and then he said, Let's you and me have a talk, friend. Oh, sorry. Dad marched me up to my room and shut the door behind him, and then he said, Let's you and me have a talk, friend. Whenever Dad says friend, that way you know you're in trouble. The first time Dad ever said friend like that to me, I didn't get that he was being sarcastic, so I kind of let my guard down. Friend equals good. make that mistake anymore. Tonight, Dad yelled at me for about 10 minutes, and then I guess he decided he'd rather be in bed than standing in my room in his underwear. He told me I was grinding from playing video games for two weeks, which is about what I expected. I guess I should be glad that's all I did. 
The good thing about Dad is that when he gets mad, he cools off real quick, and then it's over. Uh, usually, if you mess up in front of Dad, he just throws whatever he's got in his hands at you. Good time to screw up. Kick. B2A. Bad time to screw up. Kick. Mom has, a t Mom has a totally different style when it comes to punishment. If you mess up and Mom catches you, the first thing she does is take... Is to take a few days to figure out. The first thing she does is to take a few days to figure out what your punishment should be. Oh, sorry, I. Mm. Mom has a totally different style when it comes to punishment. If you mess up and mom catches you, the first thing she does is to take a few days to figure out what your punishment should be. And while you're waiting, you do all these nice things to try to get off easier. I just dusted the dining room for the heck of it. How thoughtful of you. But then after a few days, right when you forgot, but then after a few days, right when you forget you're in trouble, that's when she lays it on you. Are you having fun? Yeah. No video games for a week. Monday. This video this video game ban is a whole lot tougher than I thought it would be. But at least I'm not the only one in the family who's in trouble. Roderick's in some Roderick's in some hot water with mom right now, too. Manny got a hold of one of Roderick's heavy metal magazines, and one of the pages had a picture of a woman in a bikini lying across the hood of a car. And then Manny brought it in a daycare for show and tell. Anyway, I don't think mom was too happy about getting that phone call. I saw the magazine myself, and it honestly wasn't anything to get worked up over. But Mom doesn't allow that kind of stuff in the house. Roderick's punishment, Roderick's punishment was that he had to answer a bunch of questions Mom wrote out for him. Did owning this magazine make you a better person? No. Did it make you more popular at school? No. How do you feel about having owned this type of magazine now? I feel ashamed. Do you have anything you want to say to women for for having owned this offensive magazine? I'm sorry, woman. <coughs> oh. Wednesday. I'm still grounded from playing video games, so Maddie has been using my system. Mom went out and bought a whole bunch of educational video games, and watching Manny play them is like torture. What number comes after two and rhymes with three? Hmm. Hmm. Three! Three! The good, news is that, the good news is that I finally figured out how to get some of my games past Riley's dad. I just put one of the... I just put one of my discs in Manny's discovering the alphabet case, and that's all it takes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thursday. At school today, they announced that student government elections are coming up. To be honest with you, I've never had any interest in student government. But when I started thinking about I, but when I started thinking about it, I realized getting elected treasurer could totally change my situation at school. We cheerleaders are tired of riding to games in the same bus as the nerds in the band. Hmm, let me see what I can do, treasurer. Oh, and then there's another picture. And even better, we jocks just need an air pump to inflate our only football. Yeah, sorry, can't help you with that, treasurer. Three, five. Nobody ever thinks about writing for treasurer because, because all anyone ever cares about are the big ticket positions like president and vice president. So I figure if I sign up tomorrow, the treasurer job is pretty much mine for the taking. Friday. Today, I went and put my name on the list to run for treasurer. Unfortunately, this kid named Marty Porter is running for treasurer, too. 
and he's really brainy in math. So this might not be as easy as I thought. I told Dad that I was running for student government, and he seemed pretty excited. It turns out he ran for student government when he was my age, and he actually won. Dad dug through some old boxes in the basement and found one of his campaign posters. In integrity, honest, integrity, honesty, know-how. Know -how. Vote Frank Heffley for secretary. I thought the poster idea was pretty good, so I asked Dad to drive me to the store to get some supplies. I loaded up on I loaded up on poster board and markers, and I spent the rest of the night making all my campaign stuff. So let's just hope th these posters work. Monday, I brought my posters into school today, and I have to say they came out pretty good. Do you do you want Marty Porter to be your treasurer? Hey, you're dropping all our money, you fool! Dar, s s s s s. Remember in the second grade how Marty Porter had head lice? Itch, itch. Do you really want him taking your money? I started hanging my posters up as soon as I got in. But they were the but they were only up for about three minutes before Vice Principal before Vice Principal Roy spotted them. Mr. Roy said you weren't allowed to write fabrications about the other candidates. So I told Mr. Roy that the thing about the headlights was true and how it practically closed down the whole school when it happened. But he took down all my posters anyway. So today, Marty Porter was going around handing out lollipops to buy himself votes while Mr. While my posters were sitting at the bottom of Mr. Roy's trash can. I guess this means my political career is officially over. October. Monday. Well, it's fine in October, and there are only 30 days left until Halloween. Halloween is my favorite holiday, even though Mom says I'm getting too old to go trick-or-treating anymore. Halloween is, Halloween is Dad's favorite holiday, too, but for a different reason. On Halloween night, while all the other parents are handing out candy, Dad is hiding in the bushes, in the bushes with a big trash can full of water. And if any teenagers pass by our driveway, he drenches them. Yog! Um, I don't know if you guys care. Um, I wasn't gonna read this. It's um, what's on the last page? It's a little poster thing, and then the other picture. <clears throat> I'm not sure Dad really understands the concept of Halloween, but I'm not gonna be the one who spoils his fun. But I'm not gonna be the one who spoils his fun. Trick or tree, ha <laughs> ha. Tonight was the opening night of the Crossland High School haunted house, and I got Mom to agree to take me and Rowley. Rowley showed up at my house wearing his Halloween costume from last year. When I called him earlier, I told him to just wear regular clothes, but of course, he didn't listen. S. I try, I try not to let it bother me too much, though. I've never been allowed to go to the Crossland Haunted House before, and I wasn't going to let Rowley ruin it for me. Roderick has told me all about it, and I've been looking forward to this for about three years. Anyway, when we got to the entrance, I started having second thoughts about going in. Good evening, S. 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 -S. But mom seemed like but mom seemed like she was in a hurry to get this over with, and she moved us along. Once we were through the gate, it was one scare after another. There were vampires jumping out at you and people without heads and all sorts of crazy stuff. But the worst part but the worst part was this area called Chainsaw Alley. There was this big guy in a hockey mask and he had a real chainsaw. Roger told me the chainsaw has a rubber blade, but I wasn't taking any chances. S. Right when it looked like the chainsaw guy was going to catch us, Mom stepped in and bailed us out. That's not nice. I'm sorry, ma'am. S. <clears throat> Mom made the chainsaw guy show us where the exit was, and that was the end of our haunted house experience right there. I guess it was a little embarrassing when Mom did that, but I'm willing to let it go this one time. 
Saturday. The Crossland Haunted House really got me thinking. Those guys were charging five bucks a pop, and the line stretched halfway around the school. I decided to make a haunted house of my own. Actually, I had to bring Ralphie in on the deal, because Mom wouldn't let me convert our, our first floor into a full-out haunted mansion. I knew Riley's dad wouldn't be crazy about the idea either, so we decided to build a haunted house in his basement and just not mention it to his parents. Me and Riley spent most of the day coming up with an awesome plan for our haunted house. Here was our final plan. Hall of Screams, Lake of Blood, Bottomless Pit, Maze of a Thousand Skulls, Rat Tunnel, Death, Death Slide, Acid Lake, Knife Alley, Hand Hall, Exit. I don't mean to brag or anything, but what, but what we came up with was way better than the Crossland High School Haunted House. We realized, we realized we were going to need to get the word out that we were doing this thing, so we got some paper and made up a bunch of flyers. I will admit maybe we stretched the truth a little in our advertise it I will admit maybe we stretched the truth a little in our advertisement, but we had to make sure people actually showed up. Haunted house with live sharks. Ouch! thirty two Surrey Street admission fifty cents three PM By the time we finished putting the flowers up around the neighborhood and got back to Raleigh's basement, it was already 2.30, and we hadn't even started putting the actual haunted house together yet. So we had to cut some corners from our original plan. When, when 3 o'clock rolled around, we looked outside to see if anyone had showed up, and sure enough, there were about 20 neighborhood kids waiting in line outside Raleigh's basement. Now, I knew our flower... Now, I knew our... Now, I knew... Now, I know our flyer said admission was 50 cents, but I could see that we had a chance to make a killing here. So I told the kids that admission was 2 bucks and the 50 cent thing was just a typo. The first kid to cough up his 2 bucks was Shane Snella. He picked his money and we let him inside, and me and Riley took our positions in the Hall of Screams. The Hall of Screams is basically a bed with me and Riley on either side of it. Ra! Ra! Squeal! I guess maybe we made the hall of scream be a little too scary because halfway through Shane curled up in a ball underneath the bed. We tried to get him to crawl out from under there, but he wouldn't budge. I started thinking about all the money we were losing with this kid clogging up the hall of screams, and I knew we had to get him out of there quick. Eventually, Raleigh's dad came downstairs. At first, I was happy to see him because I thought he could help us drag Shane out from under the bed and get our haunted house cranking again. Oh, and guys, I can't really read this. Um, it says, like, haunted house, SS, SS. Um, but there's not a lot of print, so you can see this picture, I guess. Eventually, Raleigh's dad came downstairs. At first, I was happy to see him because I thought he could help us drag Shane out from under the bed and get our haunted house cranking again. But Raleigh's dad wasn't really in a helpful mood. Poke, poke. Raleigh's dad wanted to... Raleigh's dad wanted to know what we were doing and why Shane Snella was curled up under the bed. We told him that the basement was a haunted house and that Shane Snella actually paid for us to do this to him. But Raleigh's dad didn't believe us. I admit that if you looked around, it didn't really look like a haunted house. All we had time to put together was the Hall of Screams and the Lake of Blood, which was just Raleigh's old baby pool with a half a bottle of ketchup in it. I tried to show Raleigh's dad our original plan to prove that we were really running a legitimate operation, but he still didn't seem convinced. And to make a long story short, that was the end of our haunted house. The good news is, since Raleigh's dad didn't believe us, he didn't make us refund Shane's money. So at least we cleared two bucks today. Sunday, Raleigh ended up getting grounded for that whole haunted house mess yesterday. He's not allowed to watch TV for a week, and he's not allowed to have me over at his house during that time. That, that last part really isn't fair, because that's punishing me, and I didn't even do anything wrong. And now, where am I supposed to play my video games? Anyway, I felt kind of bad for Raleigh, so tonight, I tried to make it up to him. I turned on one of Raleigh's favorite TV shows, and I did a play-by-play -play over the phone, so he could kind of experience that way. Wow, look at that size of that, wow, look at the, wow, look at the size of that flamethrower. Oh yeah, never mind.
<clears throat> I did my best to keep up with what I did my best to keep up with what was going on on the screen, but to be honest with you, I'm not sure if Rowley was getting the full effect. I bet this part is gonna be funny. Whoop! Ha ha! I was right. It was funny. Tuesday. Well, Rowley's grounding is finally over, and just in time for Halloween too. I went up to his house to check out his costume, and I have to admit, I'm a little jealous. Rowley's mom got him his night costume that's way cooler than his costume from last year. <clears throat> his night outfit came with a helmet and a shield and a real sword and everything. I've never had a store-bought costume before. I still haven't figured out what I'm, go what I'm gonna go as tomorrow night, so I'll probably just throw something together at the last minute. I figure maybe I'll bring back the toilet paper mummy again. But I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow night, so that might not be the smartest choice. <laughs> okay, well, guys, that is it. Um, that is part two of seven. Um, so, yeah, that is reading God Evan when we get a novel and cartoons. That's part two of seven. Come back for part three of seven soon. All right, guys. See, all right, guys. See you in the next video. Bye. Oh, subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications. Yeah, all right. See you in the next one. Peace.